September 13th, 1269, the ravine of the Hydra. Following the peace of Sintra, 53 officers of the Vryhead Brigade were brought here and executed, their throats cut. The elves' bodies were dropped into the chasm. I don't know what the writers of the hunt were looking for. So if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I really like the elves within the Witch universe, particularly the Scoia'tael. So I got a suggestion the other day, and it was to do a video on a very, very famous elf throughout the books and the games, and he's also a Gwent card. And if you've read the title, you'll know that today's video is going to be on Isengrim. So I mentioned him in my Dijkstra video because he is basically an outlaw, just like Dijkstra. And another piece of information, he is actually a very, very well-known acquaintance of one of our favourite elves in the Witch universe, Eorveth. So just before I get into today's video, I just wanted to quickly say that I'm going to pronounce this word wrong a lot, and that's just because it's not my natural dialect, I have never actually heard it been said by anybody, because I haven't watched a lot of videos on this, because I, li I like to do the research and stuff myself and look it up. But anyway, so today's video, as I said, is on Isengrim Feolitiana, which I might be saying wrong, aka the Iron Wolf. So he was an elf, and one of the most famous and experienced members of the Scoia'tael. He was actually a, a key player at the events of Thanedile, which I will go into a later video, but I think for now I'm just gonna reference it in a couple of videos, like I mentioned it with Dijkstra, for example. So, Isengrim was the leader of the Vyhead Brigade during the Battle of Brenna, and he held the rank of Colonel. And you might have heard of the Vyhead Brigade just because you might have played Gwent, or you might know that Eorveth was actually in that brigade too, and Isengrim was his leader. So as a condition for the Treaty of Sintra, 32 elven commandos that fought under the Nilfgaardian banner were captured and surrendered to the Northern Kingdoms. This included Isengrim. But he actually managed to escape and fled to the foot of Elskadeg Pass, where he met with um, Dijkstra and Boris Munn, and they were both fugitives for their own reasons. The three of them formed a travelling party and headed east towards Zeracania and Hackland, presumably leaving the territories of the Nilfgaardian Empire and Northern Kingdoms for good. But this is the problem, right? Is it's Isengrim was actually meant to be in The Witcher 2, and this this is a little known fact to a lot of people, but he was actually meant to be Eorveth. And Eorveth is a canon character to the books, because he is actually mentioned very briefly in I think it is the Baptism of Fire. But he had never had a personality, no one ever knew him, it was just meant to be sort of a throw off name but then they decided to make him into who Isengrim was supposed to be. And the reason they did this is because Isengrim was basically, he had too much of a defined personality and they wanted to have something a little bit different, which is why they chose Yorveth. But that worked out well because obviously Yorveth is a great character. The the actual description for Yorveth, an assassin of kings, you know, the Witcher assassin of kings, is actually a direct description from the books of Isengrim. So you can imagine that Isengrim basically looks like Yorveth without the missing eye. You know, he, he looks probably pretty similar. So what I want to also go into a little bit in this video is the Vyhead Brigade, which is obviously quite relevant just because Isengrim is from that brigade. This was an elven brigade of the 4th Cavalry Army. This was an Ilfgaardian mounted troop as well, and it was commanded by Major General Marcus Briarband. So even though um, Isengrim was a colonel, he was basically like the in leader of that group, but they actually had an overall commander over them as well. Their emblem consisted of silver lightning bolts on their sleeve, the brigade was led by Isengrim, as I said. There are a lot of notable members as part of this brigade. There's Yavin, which, you know, you, you may remember him <laughs> from uh, The Witcher 1, Yorveth, Teruviel, you'll know, Angus, Bricri, not going to say that right, Isengrim, Koniich, Dario. So, th there's actually a word in Dutch which is, I'm, um, god damn it, Vrijheid, which means freedom. So a little a bit of a sad part of this thing is that during the animated cutscene called Pursuing the Wild Hunt, Geralt mentions that 53 of the 55 officers of the brigade were brought to the ravine of the Hydra and executed following the Peace of Sintra. The two who survived were Yorveth and Isengrim. Uh, it wasn't just those guys that survived, obviously Yavin survived and Teruviel survived, but a lot of them died. So Isengrim overall is probably one of the most famous elves in the Witch universe, the most famous obviously being someone like Eredin who is technically an elf. It's a shame that we never got to see him in any of the Witcher games, just because he seems like a very, very interesting character, just based off, you know, reading the books, etc. He he was a good guy, you know, it would have been cool if he turned up with Dijkstra, maybe, that would have been quite a cool little thing to have in. But, as we know, <laughs> CD Projekt Red don't really like, um, don't really like their elves, but, um, uh, I'm, jo I'm joking, obviously, but, you know, it's it's a shame that he went. But anyway, that's the end of today's video, it's just been a short video, there's not a lot of information on this guy, he wasn't really a major, major character, but you hear about him a lot, you know, you a lot. So that's the end of today's video, anyway. And I just wanted to take this time at the end of the video to say thank you to all the Patreon pledges. I got a couple more recently, which is always awesome. I actually updated the uh, Patreon thing, so it says Grandmaster now. <laughs> so I hope you guys are happy with that. And um, I will see everybody later. I hope you have an awesome week, guys. My next video will either be a Witcher Monsters lore video, 
or my next part of the Witcher playthrough. So you tell me which one you'd prefer. I would like to do some Witcher playthroughs, so it'll probably be that, but i just like to hear what you guys want anyway. So anyway, I'll see you all later, guys. Have an awesome week.